The House will come to order. The invocation today will be given by Father Harant Kevorkian from St. Sarkis Armenian Apostolic Church in Dearborn, Michigan. He is a guest of Representative Manugian. Will members, staff, and guests in the gallery please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty God, we ask you to guide our reflection, our action, and all our endeavors. We also ask for your guidance, especially in the deliberations and all decisions of this noble body, because strong, wise, and visionary leadership is essential for the wealthy well-being of our state of Michigan and our nation. Give us your wisdom, O Lord, to speak, do, and think all which is good in your sight, especially in all the decisions we are about to make today for the benefit of our state. We, your humble, humble, humble servants, glorify and praise you for the great gift you have granted us in this great nation of freedom and faith founded by men and women of immersed courage and deep faith, you have made the United States of America flourish and grow over the last 300 years, preserving it through your grace and mercy. You have made it a safe haven of liberty for millions of men and women seeking refuge from tyrannical rulers, war-ravaged nations, and morally bankrupt and corrupt governments. As we commemorate the 104th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, we remember today the hospitality of this great state, which opened its doors to tens and thousands of Armenians fleeing the ravage of persecution, torture, and genocide. They were welcomed into this society and given the gift of freedom, security, and citizenship. Armenians became an integral part of this society and thrived here in the United States, giving back with thanksgiving some of what they had received. Many served as defenders of this nation in the armed forces and paid the ultimate price of freedom, falling in the battlefields around the world in order to defend the liberty and freedom-loving people of our nation. Many Armenians contributed to the economic scientific, technological, and intellectual growth of this country in the fields of art and literature, politics and jurisprudence, engineering and architecture, literature and journalism, business and commerce, science and technology, photography and cinematography, and religion and education. Allow us, O Lord, to show our gratitude to America by continuing to be good and upstanding citizens, always prepared to do our share in the defense and cultivation of this great nation. Today, with thanksgiving and praise, we ask you, O Lord, to bless this precious land of liberty and opportunity, the United States of America. We especially ask you to bless our president, the members of the cabinet and the advisors, the members of both houses of Congress, the governors and legislators of all states, and especially our state of Michigan, all those who serve in the military or are in public service, and all the people of Michigan and in the United States through whom the All Holy Trinity is praised and glorified forever and ever, amen. And now I would like to ask you all to join me in praying the Lord's Prayer in your own mother tongue, in your own native language. Hair mer vorher ginses surp yegitsi anunko yegese arkayut yunko yegitsin gamkko vorbes herginas yev hergli es hats mer hanabazor dur mezaisor yev tol mezes bardis mer Borbesiev mek togunk merots bardabanats, 
եւ մի դանի ռզմեզի փորձություն ալփրգյազ մեզի ճարե զիկոյ արկայություն եւ զորություն եւ բարկ հավիդյանս հավիդենից ամեն